loves, it's Sam. So today I'm gonna to be sharing 20 beauty items you need from Walmart. I'm super excited to be partnering up with them for the month of April and basically just sharing my favorite drugstore makeup and, well, I should just say beauty because there's some hair, there's some body, there's some scents, and then there's a lot of makeup. So. I'm going to link everything down in the description box below for you guys. You can find all of this on walmart.com. Um, a lot of the stuff I've had like a pickup order, so they've been in store. But then some of the stuff like Lottie London, that stuff you have to order online. Um, Bain de Terre, I don't know if they have this in store or not. You can definitely get this online. So it's kind of a mix of like some stuff is online only and then some stuff is... Um, in store so you can do a pickup order which is very convenient i love that so i think i'm going to start off with hair first this i actually got turned on by turned on to by um cassie when i was at her house she was blow drying her hair and i was like what is this magical contraption you're using and she was showing me and her volume was insane so when you want to just like blow dry your hair and get like some really good volume this is amazing this is by revlon and it basically just has like Th or yeah three settings cool low and high you turn it on and it's a round brush and a blow dryer into one super affordable I think it's under $50 and it's kind of more of like an oval shape if you guys can see that so it gives you some really amazing volume so especially if you're trying to do this top section if you want like a blowout look or you just want some really good volume before you put your curls in this is really good so sometimes I will most of the time I let my hair air dry because I try to like let my hair be as natural as possible because I do like curl it and wave it and stuff but when I'm looking for some real good volume and I want to kind of like have a blowout type look or like loose curls then I will use this especially in that front section it dries your hair so so fast and it just I mean the body it gives you is insane like Cassie always has the best volume and that's how she gets it so highly recommend that if you guys are starting to feel like you're you're losing a little bit of that volume and body to your hair you just need a little bit of a lift especially kind of like in the front how it like lays like really nice and flowy that's something that you can do that is super easy to use it does not snag your hair it is very very fast at drying like it's honestly such I was like skeptical but then i was like well she her hair looks amazing so i'm gonna try it and then i got it and i was like wow that is actually like super duper good and then another thing that i've recently just picked up which is so funny because i actually got a message actually i've had a couple of messages in my dms asking if i still use this and i had completely forgotten about it so i used to use this when we lived in montana when i had first had lily and my hair was so amazing back then and someone had messaged me like oh like, do you still use Bain de Terre? Your hair was like so healthy or something like that. And I was like, oh, you're so right. Like that was, that, this was like my go-to. So this is the Bain de Terre Passion Flower Color Preserving Shampoo and Conditioner. I don't even know why I stopped using this. I think, I, you know, I just like try new things and then you forget about something. Okay, the smell of it is so juicy. It's passion flower. It's like fruity and floral oh my god this the scent is amazing it's paraben free it has argan and minoy oils it basically is just like unbelievable you guys luxuriously cleanse and preserve a vibrancy of color treated hair by over 83 percent lavish and beautifying oils and lush botanical scents for soft sumptuous sumptuous i like that word sumptuous silky hair paraben free basically this makes your hair so unbelievably shiny it's really hard for blonde hair to get shiny but I don't know if you guys can tell can you guys see this shine I have right now I mean it's like kind of like I have a ton of like texture product in it right now and you know it's not like the the best way to show that my hair is shiny but like it made my hair so shiny it smells so good it conditions so well I just like the whole time I was washing and conditioning my hair I was like why did I stop using this like this is so amazing man I am so happy that I picked it up it's pretty affordable and it really is like it's hydrating it conditions it detangles it makes your hair so shiny and soft and silky like it, like Jay was touching my hair last night after I had showered and like let it dry naturally he's like your hair is so silky and I was like I know it's like insane he's like it's like the softest ever and I was like I know so maybe my hair will be just as fabulous as it was in Montana if I continue using that stuff because I am very impressed um, the next thing actually Cassie gave to me she had an extra one this is the Derma E recover and repair deep conditioning treatment mask um, I've actually never tried any of Derma E uh, hair products before I've tried their skin products and this is a really nice hair mask. I was actually really impressed with it. I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. First of all, the scent is delicious. It's like lemon. It's got like a lot of like natural things. It's got green tea, papaya, 
vitamin E, coconut oil, cannabis sativa seed extract, lemongrass, mango. You can definitely smell the green tea and the lemongrass. The scent is so nice when you're in the shower. It's very like invigorating and like uplifting, but it did a really great job with my hair. It conditioned it really well. My hair felt really nice afterwards. Um, I used this before the bane to tear like on another day and I was actually very impressed with it. So I would say if you're looking for like more of a these are eco-ethical, cruelty-free, 100% vegan, soy-free. They're kind of like more of a natural type brand. I would definitely give that one a go because I did feel like it did a really good job with my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to like body. So my sister told me about this. This is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. And she was like, oh my gosh, my skin is so soft whenever I use this. I really wish my sister would do like YouTube videos because she, she gives me some great recommendations. And I feel like she just like has a lot to offer to the world. I really feel like she just would do so, I mean, she had a YouTube channel and she, I was, I loved her videos. I just feel like she, I don't know. I, I wish that she would do them because I just like, she's, she recommends me tons of stuff. All of you guys could go and Instagram her, Instagram DM her and say that you miss her videos and that you'd wish that she would do some and then she'll do it. Uh, maybe. Anyway, she told me this is really good. So I started using it and she was dilly dang right. This is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish Collodial Oatmeal and Calendula Oil. And what I love about this is that it makes your body so soft. It exfoliates, but not too much, if you guys know what I mean. The scent is very soft and subtle, a little bit sweet, kind of creamy, a little bit fresh. This is great for like before you shave and before you self tan, but it's a really hydrating scrub, so it doesn't like dry your skin out too much, and it's not too like harsh. It just makes your skin so soft and supple afterwards. Really great to use before you shave your bikini area. I got laser hair removal, but I never finished out my treatments because then we moved here, and so I still get a little bit of hair like on the sides, and so um, I use this like before I shave, and it really is a really lovely, just good, soft, like not too harsh exfoliator. My skin felt so soft afterwards. Like it was just like buttery. It was amazing. And then this is something that I was watching Katie Fawn. I mean, I literally, that girl just takes all my money. She had said in her video that she had, like this girl had a really amazing tan and she had asked her what um, she was using and she said it was this. It's like five bucks, you guys. This is the Malibu Tan Hemp Golden Glow uh, bronzing moisturizer with skin firming. So basically it's like the tan Lux, like gradual tanner that I use, but it's a drugstore version. It's $5. So it's way cheaper. It has a pump top. The smell is delish. It's a little bit more of a, um, thicker formula. So it does take a little bit longer to like moisturize and rub in, which is not a bad thing really when you're looking for like a kind of gradual tanner because you want to make sure you're getting everywhere. So it kind of does go a little bit white and you kind of have to moisturize it in. However, it is very hydrating and I do not smell like tanner at all. I love the smell when you're first applying it. Um, it really smells good. It's kind of like, t like, um, like a suntan oil, like a, you know, like, you know, like a coconutty, like sweet scent. It smells delicious, I think. I absolutely love the scent and I do not stink like tanner at all. Um, but basically you're just supposed to use it every single day and then it's got CoQ10, hemp seed oil, and it's supposed to moisturize and visibly tone for perfectly pampered skin and then it also gives you a little bit of color. If you're looking for a gradual tanner that isn't as expensive as the Tan Lux one, this is definitely the way to go. I love how it applies, I love the scent, and um, it just, it's a really good thing when you're a self tanner to use a gradual tanner in between your self tanner days to prolong your self tan because otherwise it gets dry, it gets cracky, and then it starts to disappear. So I always do like a self tan and then on the days I'm not so well, so I'll do a self tan like once a week, let's just say, and then I will do one day of gradual tan, the next day just regular oils and moisturizers, the next day gradual tan, the next day oils and mo moisturizers, the next day gradual, and then I'll do my self tan. And I really do feel like it helps your tan to just last a really long time and just stay looking like rich and delish um, so that you don't dry out. And that one is literally, I think it's like $5.36. I did a pickup order, winning. Okay, now we're gonna go on to scents. You guys know I've talked about this numerous times. Ariana Grande, I think this is like the moonlight one. Literally, oh my God, it smells so good. It's so, like I forget to use it and then I use it again and I'm like, oh, why do I stop using you, I love you. It's like vanilla, but like 
candy. I don't know. It's honestly so good, but it's like a sophisticated sweet. And every single time I use this, I always get compliments on this scent. It's seriously so yummy. If you like those sweeter scents, they are like super affordable at Walmart. I think it's like 20 something dollars. Um, and you lit it just makes you smell divine. It's amazing. It's so good. Ariana Grande has a good nose. And another one that I can only find at Walmart, I cannot find it anywhere else, is the Ghost Deep Night. This is something that I used to wear when I was in England. Um, I think my aunt or maybe my cousin used it years and years ago. This was when I was like 20, in my 20s. Um, God, that sounds depressing. Anyway, I'm going to be 37 in a couple months, you guys. I'm kind of like, wow, I'm almost 40. That's really just, I know it's like still three years away, but it's like 37 is so much closer to 40. And I don't know why, but I'm feeling kind of weird about it. Like, I'm feeling like, oh my gosh, have I had all the babies I want to have? <laughs> It's so stupid. Like, what if I go to menopause, like, in a few years? And, like, what if I decide that I want to have another baby? And, like, I mean, I don't know, like, what happens to a woman's brain when you get older. But, like, all of this stuff happens. And then all of a sudden you're like, what is going on? Am I losing my mind? Like, lately I've really been feeling like, oh, my gosh, this is my last chance. Like, if I want to have another baby, like, I literally, and, I mean, obviously Jay's had a vasectomy. <laughs> he doesn't want any more kids. But there's something wrong with my brain that's, like, making me feel like because I'm getting older, it's like, this is your last chance. Are you sure you're happy with two? But then I'm like, I have an 11-year-old and a 9-year-old. Why would I want a newborn? Do you know what I mean? I don't know what is wrong with hormones, but they make you crazy. Like, and I'll tell Jay, like, do you maybe want to have another baby? And he's like, no. And I'm like, are you sure you don't want to get, like, a little reversal? And he's like, no. And I'm like, are you positive? I'm like, this would be, like, the last chance. And he's like, no. And I'm like, Hmm. But sometimes I feel like I do, but then I don't. It's really weird. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, I used to use this when I was in my 20s, and I forgot about it, and then I rebought it, like, I don't know. How long has it been? Where's the... Oh, yeah, I'm down to here. I don't know when I bought it. Maybe last year or something? Oh, you guys. If I could create my own scent, it would probably be this. Like, honestly, it is the most beautiful scent and it actually smells really good mixed with the Ariana Grande. Like you can layer them and they smell amazing together. It's rich. It's sweet. It's sexy. There's like, this is definitely something you can wear on a date night. Um, it's very, it's kind of like a romantic, like sexy scent because it's kind of got that sweetness. It's really beautiful. I love the packaging. They also have a summer one, like a, I can't remember what it's called. Summer solstice. No, it's not my Anyway, I'll link the summer one. It's a pink bottle. I really, really want it. I've never smelt it before, but it looks really pretty. But I can only find the ghost on Walmart for some reason. So definitely grab this. It's honestly the most gorgeous scent. You are not going to, like, it's an all year, but definitely spring and summer. I think it would be really pretty because it's, I feel like with your sweat, that sounds gross. When you heat up, it like, oh, it just like just goes into the world. It's just so nice. Honestly, I love it. Whenever I wear this, Jay compliments me a lot. Now we're going to go on to like skin. So these two foundations I've got, okay, first I'll talk about this one. I get a lot of questions. What's my favorite drugstore foundation? I would say hands down, if you could only ever choose one drugstore foundation, it would be Revlon Color Stay. I have the color Rich Tan and then I have the color um, 330 Natural Tan. So I usually mix, where's my normal dry? I mix a normal dry with a combination oily, so I'll get one color of normal dry and one color of normal oily, or I'm sorry, combination oily, and I mix them together, and together, that's the perfect combo when you mix the two, because the two combinations of the different formulas are like skin-like, but full coverage, long-lasting, but do, like, it's seriously so pretty. So that would be my go-to, like, if you're looking for a good, long-wearing, full coverage, oil control foundation, Revlon Color Stay. I used to wear it like years and years ago when I was in my teens. I'm literally, I still love it. It's amazing. And then if you're looking for something a little bit more lightweight, maybe you don't want super full coverage, but you still want your skin to look really beautiful, very skin-like, more of a glow, but still like, obviously it's medium coverage, sheer to medium. It's definitely buildable. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude. I have the color 4-5. My sister actually told me to get, well, first of all, Cassie told me to get it and I got it and then I got the wrong color and I, I just ended up returning it and then not getting the new shade. And then my sister was like raving about it on Instagram and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it again. So I got four or five this time. And I will say this is really beautiful. It's also really pretty as a mixer. I've mixed it with the Makeup Forever 
which is my go-to. I've mixed it with the Revlon. I've mixed it, what have I else? I've mixed it with a ton of different uh, foundations and it mixes really beautifully. Um, but it really does give you like a really gorgeous, like very skin-like, but enough coverage. It lasts really well. It's just really beautiful on the skin. So that's a good one if you're not looking for a super full coverage or mix the Revlon color stay with that one. You're gonna look like such a babe, a dream. Then for concealer, e.l.f., this one's great. I use it every single time I do my makeup. I mix it with the Milk, um, Milk Flex Concealer. This is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. I have it in the color Light Peach. And the reason I have it in such a light color is because I use it as more of a brightener versus a concealer. Get in here, you loser face. Ugh. Why? There we go. The wand is fat. It's so fat. I love how big the wand is because it puts a ton of products. So I will do a dot, a dot, and a dot. And it brightens up so well with this color. If, if I use this alone, it would be way too light. But mixed with the milk, it just brightens my under eyes so well. I'm just having some serious dark circles and they're like really bumming me out. But I'm too scared to do anything underneath my eye as far as like injectables because it just makes me nervous. I don't like needles around my eyes. I mean, I get my crow's feet like right here, but that's not too super close. When it's around here, uh, 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 it creeps me out so much. So I haven't done anything in that area. And um... I just feel like I'm getting so dark. It's just really sucky. This is the prettiest little glow you will ever see. This is something that is online only. I've not found it in stores, but it's on walmart.com. It is the Lottie London Diamond Bounce Illuminating Highlighter. Whenever I wear this on my chest, I get... Oh my God, this camera. I'm telling you what. I get so many compliments and they ask me, what is that glow on your chest? And it doesn't look like much. But then, do you see the sparkle? OMG. So what I like to do is I just get a, a brush and we'll just open up. I literally just pat it like this and I just, I go like this and it gives you, do you see that glow? Whoa, baby. I think there's actually a darker color too. I have the lighter one. This is in the color, oh, it just says diamond bounce. But I just like to, find my clavicle wherever it is oh god that's one thing i miss from being young my clavicle <laughs> it's just weird isn't it how like when you get fatter like the things that you like really didn't notice before like you really miss you're like i just really wish my clavicle would poke out like that'd be so fun but look how glowy that is now do you guys see that wah, wah, wee, wah. so it's also really beautiful on the eyes you can do a little bit like this and just tap it right there and then when you go out in the sun you're gonna look like a fairy goddess. Everybody wants to do that. Anyway, it's just so pretty and I love it. And if you like a little bit of a shimmer, I mean, imagine this on like the, your shins, your shoulders. It just makes you glow. Like you look so pretty and it's just such a, it's so affordable. It's great. Um, another great product for the face is this. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Blush. I actually just had someone DM me asking if this was if they if I tried it and I said yes it's lovely. This is the Pink Sands blush from Physicians Formula. The packaging is gorgeous. Um, it's really pretty. It has a quite of a, a, the scent is a bit strong. So if you are someone who has like weird eyes like I do, unfortunately it does make my eyes water, which is such a bummer because it's such a pretty blush. It gives you the softest little pink cheek. It's like the perfect amount of pink and peach together. Very subtle. If you're more fair, this is going to work. If you're my coloring, it's also going to work. I kind of have to layer a little darker one afterwards, but it puts down a really pretty pink color. It's very like innocent and rosy. Like it's really beautiful. Um, unfortunately, it makes my eyes water though because I'm a loser and, you know, I just have these stupid issues. But th that's the color. So you can see it's fairly light. And it just gives you like a really soft, it actually looks like really chalky when you swatch it. But on, it looks really, really pretty. Um, but it does give you just a really soft kind of pinky, like it's just a really soft pinky, um, pinky cheek. But my eyes water from it because it is quite highly scented. It smells amazing. I mean, the scent, I'm not going to complain about the scent. It's floral and creamy. It smells like Elemis Frangipani Manoi Oil. Literally, this is just the most amazing scent. But... I find that when I have things that are really highly scented by my eyes, my eye just likes to dribble and then it crusts all day and then it gets raw and then it looks red and then it's crap. So unfortunately for me, um, my eye is really just messing up my whole makeup game, but it is really pretty. If you don't have that problem, 
give it a go. It's gorgeous, especially if you're fair. It's going to be so pretty on you. Then this is really cool. This is a illuminating setting spray. Little much for the face for me. I mean, you guys know I'm really oily, so I can't go too too glowy on the face but this is great this is what I have on my chest before so I spray this sorry no I don't I do the powder first then I spray to like set the powder in that the Lottie London and this has like little shimmers so let me see if I can do it on my hand um, you shake it up they all kind of sit at the bottom so I probably didn't even shake that properly no I didn't they're all at the bottom right now so you shake it up really really well and they're these little gold illuminating shimmers yeah it's really slitting you have to shake it really good I feel like a shake weight commercial <sighs> anyway let me just spray my arm and let's see if they're gonna come out it's subtle it's super subtle on the chest but it's a little much for my face so if you're dry and you're looking for a real good illumination this is a good arm workout I'm getting really tired um whew, wow I really need to work out um it, but on the chest, it's just the perfect glow to make you just look so healthy and young and youthful. Still really wet. I sprayed a bit too much. Hold on. Let's fan off. Let me fan it off. Take a load off, Fanny. You know what I like about wrists? They're so skinny. They make you look so skinny. Oh, I love my wrists. Like, what's your favorite part of your body? Oh, I really love my wrists and my feet because they're so skinny. <laughs> Stupid loser. Do you see that glow? Yes, it's given a super soft, subtle, wow, she's healthy. She is a healthy one. Then we're gonna move on to eyes. I have, well, they're brows. They're three brow products. I also have one that I love from L'Oreal that I'll link, but I'm out, so I need to go get some more. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in the color Ash Brown. My favorite, I've been using it for a while. Cassie told me to get it, I got it. She never disappoints i'll leave her channel down below if you guys haven't checked her out she's my bestie um and i'll leave her instagram but she has great recommendations so you guys should go and check her out look at that fine little pen tip this is what i use in my brows to make it look like i have brow hairs when i actually don't because i have none and then this one is new to me but again really really great this one's a little bit lighter so it's really great for the front ones if you don't want to go too wild in the front this is the physician's formula butter palm feathered micro brow pen in the color universal brown really cute packaging i have to say physician's formula is killing it with the packaging lately my camera is a real piece of loser face there we go and again You've got your tiny little, but you can see the difference in the color. Oh, they're really close, but that one's just a little bit lighter. So I like to use this one like right in the front and then I go over it with the NYX. And then this brow gel, bomb.com, love it. I like to use this when I'm doing like a really minimal makeup because it's, um, it really like puts the fibers in there and it kind of like makes it look like you have brows even if you're not doing like a full makeup look, it's great. This is the NYX Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara in the color Cool Ash Brown. And it's like a little brush with, um, you know, a gel and it really gets those fibers going. So I love that one for when I'm doing like very minimal makeup because I can just put that in and it makes it look like I have a little bit of brows. And then I will literally just do ding, ding, ding in the front and then I'm good to go. So those are the brow products. Then I have two eye products. You guys, these are really great. Again, Physicians Formula right now has got some really great products. These are the Diamond Melt Alec Mineral Wear Liquid Eyeshadow. I have the colors, uh, what are the colors that I have? Golden Emerald and Bronze Brilliance. And they are so, so pretty, you guys. There we go. Okay, look how pretty they look. The packaging's really fun, but wait. Wait till you, okay, the wand is also really good and flexible. Ta-da! Look at that. There we go, do you see that? So that's the emerald one. And then, wow, my voice just went. Bronze Brilliance, wow, kind of like a purpley brown. They're so cool. So what I like to do is get the wand like this and then put my finger in and then tap it. And I have the emerald green one on today. It stays all day. Like once you have it on, it doesn't go anywhere. It's not gonna budge. It's, um, do I have a wipe in here? It's just so shimmery and metallic. Like it looks really, really pretty on the eyes. And, um, 
I just love them. Like they're so, so fun. Really easy to apply. You could also apply it with just like a little flat like packer brush as well. Um, but I just like to do it with my finger and then I just use like a tiny little brush in the inner corner. And I've actually found like less is more with this product. Like when you apply it just like straight up with the thingy mabobber, the applicator, it doesn't look as good. I found that when you just do a little bit with your finger, like the shimmers actually show more when there is less product used. So do you guys see how like shimmery it is because I've like wiped most of it off? It's prettier the less you use. So definitely like use a very um, light hand with that product because it really does come to life when you're using a little bit of it instead of like just packing it on. Then you get more shimmery look versus um, versus like packed on metallic, you know? Next we have a lip liner. I pretty much wear it all the time. I am obsessed with it. It is the Age Perfect Anti-Feathering Lip Liner by L'Oreal in the color Nude Pink. Okay, so watch this, my friends. Look at that color. It actually looks really pink on my hand for some reason, but I am wearing it right now. So on me, it looks a lot more like rosy brown versus like on, a, on my hand, it looks really pink for some reason. But I am wearing it today. It does not feather, it does not bleed. So if you are getting older and you're starting to feel like you have some little lip lines or you are a whistler like I am and things will start to feather, especially when you're wearing like a, lips, a lip liner and then a gloss, some of the time it will feather and like that sucks. It makes you look like a hot mess express. It's never a good look. So I love that because it doesn't feather. You can wear as much gloss as you want. Nothing's going anywhere. It does not escape this border here. And it's just like the best color. It's super pretty. It goes with tons of different products and it's a really creamy formula. It does not dry out my lips. I can apply it all over my lips. It doesn't dry them out. It's honestly so good and it's super affordable. So I absolutely love that color, nude pink. I mean, that is what it is. It's a nude, it's a nude pink. It's kind of got a little bit of brown, but a little bit of rose. And then I have two nude lipsticks because you know me and my nude lipsticks. This is the Wet n Wild Peach Please. I recently just got this one. Packaging's really cute. It's like three bucks or maybe two bucks. It was like, I think $1.97. It's so cheap. Um, very creamy, a very, very creamy kind of shiny formula. So be careful with the applicator because it can bend like really, really fast. So just be really careful when you're using it. I do like the fact that it's clear on the top so you can see it when it's um, stored, but there is the color there. So it's like a really nice, pretty like peachy, peachy pink color. It's gorgeous. It's like a pe peachy pink nude. It's so shiny, so hydrating, lovely formula. If you're looking for a formula that's a little bit more matte, this one is really great. This is the Flower Beauty um, Petal Pout Lip Color in the color Bear Pout. Really cute packaging again. The color is <clears throat> gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. But this one is a little bit more of like, it's not quite as hydrating and shiny. So, and it's a little bit more of the brighter peach color if you guys can see, but see how shiny that bottom one is? The Wet n Wild is like a really shiny formula. That one is a little bit more on the, I would say satin, satiny matte. Um, definitely not matte, but definitely not, it's not got a shine to it. Um, but those are both really, really beautiful. I think, I mean, you can see the, the Wet n Wild one's a little bit more nude. The Peach Pout is a little bit more, it's like a little brighter peach, but both really, really gorgeous, especially with that lip liner. It's just so pretty. And then I have, a gloss that I highly recommend you guys all get because I just got introduced to this and it's seriously amazing. I went out and bought another color for my car. I have these two. They are so stunning. Like seriously, so, so pretty. They are the Diamond Plumper Mineral Wear Lip Plumper. I have the colors Champagne Cushion Cut and Diamond Marquee. So the Diamond Marquee is obviously this sparkly one up at the top here. For some reason my camera does not want to focus on this packaging. It's very interesting. I'm having a real hard time. There we go. So that one's all sparkly. That one is like a creamy kind of like rosy. Um, yeah, it's like a rosy color. They are so pretty. They are plumping. So the only complaint I have is that they stink like the tingle lotion from the tanning salon. Back in the day when I was younger and I used to work at a tanning salon, I literally lived in there. I would tan twice a day every day because I, I worked there so I could, I could get away with it. 
and um, I used to use the hot tingle lotions. Don't ask me how I did that. They are so hot and tingly, but these do smell like that, so the scent is not my favorite. So if you're going off of scent, probably not the one for you because they literally smell exactly like a hot tingle lotion from the tanning beds. Ugh, they stink, they smell horrible. But they do really plump up your lips. They make your lips look gorgeous. The scent goes away like after a couple minutes, so you don't smell it all the time. And they do tingle. It doesn't hurt, but it does tingle a little bit, but it makes your lips look so big that I actually, here I'll put some on. My sister, I was on the phone with her. I would FaceTimed her like just, I don't know, like 10 minutes after I'd put this on. Um, she asked me if I had lip fillers that day. She's like, oh, did you just get your lips done? And I was like, no. She's like, oh, your lips look so big. And I was like, oh, really? I just put this new plumper on. And so if you get asked if you've had a lip filler after you've put a plumper on, that right there just shows great success. Seriously. Like, that's the goal there. So we've got Diamond Marquee and whatever that one was called. They're both really, really pretty. I just put the diamond marquee on because it just adds a little sparkle. It just like literally makes your lips look so gloss. But once you, what did I just say? I don't even know. Let me go grab a wipe real quick. We can let this like, it works way better when you have nothing on underneath. If you just put lip liner and then this straight in, then the tingle really tingles. But because I have a lipstick and a gloss already, I'm not feeling it as much. It just feels a bit cold at the moment. But when I put it on the car, and I have no other product on. Whoa, that tingles and it gets your lips like really fluffing up. Let me just go grab a, a wipe real quick. Okay, do you guys see? It's like filled in all the lines. It makes it look so plumped up and delish. Let me just fix this line a little bit here. Don't you think they look so much more plumped? They feel a bit swollen. It really does, it really does work. My brother's calling me, hold on one sec. Hello, my breath or. Hi. Hi. Um, okay, where was I? I think I was done. I think I was just showing you my lip gloss and it's a maze. So that is everything. So those are my 20 items you need from Walmart right now. Um, I will be doing a home one as well because I've got some really gorgeous home things that I think that everyone needs to look at. Um, so that'll be coming up soon, but I hope that you guys find this helpful and enjoy. And, um, you know, it's always nice to find some good, affordable drugstore products that are like really awesome. So I will link it all down below for you guys. Definitely be sure to go and check them out. I mean, if you have to get anything, what do I recommend? It's all so good. I don't think I can pick just one. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick one. I'm just gonna say, you just gotta check them out. They're all really, really great. They're really nice quality, and I think you guys are really gonna like them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Huge thank you to Walmart for partnering up with me for this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video.